Hello! We are delighted that you want to learn how to use Gretna Public Library's Historical Documents Index. This ongoing initiative will hopefully continue to expand as we take documents donated to us by the former Gretna Historical Society and digitize them for the use of current and future generations. This basic and searchable database uses Google Spreadsheets, which is similar to Microsoft Excel. This tutorial will explain what can be found in this database and how to find it. Let us begin! In order to utilize Google Spreadsheets, you will first need to have an account with Google's free email service, Gmail. If you have any problems creating a Gmail account, then please contact the library and we will happily help you. Once you have a Google account, be sure that you are logged into it in order to access our historical index. When you click on the link, this is the first thing that you will see. This date is the last date that we have updated or added to this index's information. At this point, you may download this entire database to your computer if you have Microsoft Excel installed on your computer. However, the formatting may be slightly different and not as clearly readable as it would be if you used Google Spreadsheets instead. Down at the bottom of the spreadsheet, you will find several tabs. Our microfilm and newspaper holdings, the history of Gretna newspapers, etc. If you click on the right arrow here, then you'll discover more tabs. It's worth it to check out the topics because there are some very interesting ones. We are hoping to regularly add to this database, and so there may be even more tabs in the future. To pull up the information on that tab, just click on its title. Let's take a look at the main feature of our new index. Use the arrow to scroll over to the right until you see the Family Surname Folders list. Now click on that tab. Here you'll find digital versions of the folders that the former Gretna Historical Society put together and organized using family surnames. This tab is fun to scroll through and browse to see if you recognize any names. So, let's say we were looking for information on the Cockrell family. We'll scroll down and find that there is indeed some information within this database. Unsurprisingly, you will find this information under the Family Folders A through E tab. So, let's click on that bottom tab. This pulls up a whole list of items that we keep on file at the library. This first column is the name of file, which are names created by us. Then, the official title, which is generally a headline from a newspaper clipping. Next is the date the item was published, then the publisher, and then author if known. And then there's a listing of the names mentioned in the document within this far right-hand column. Go ahead and use the scrolling bar at the bottom of the spreadsheet to scroll over to the right. You'll see columns for a brief description, donated by, link to file, and notes. Under the notes section, we've made note of anything we thought relevant, such as if the original was cut off. In the link to file column, we have links to the documents. Go ahead and click on the link, which should bring up a small pop-up that you'll click through. This will bring up a scanned image of the document. Feel free to download, save, or print this file. You might notice that each of the Family Folders tabs has an overwhelming number of files. They can be fun to browse, but if you're more into research, then you'll want to do a search for surnames or any other information that may be within a given tab. The easiest way to do a search on this database is by holding down the Control key while pressing the F key. This will bring up a Find box in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Type in the name, word, or phrase up here and hit enter. It will show you the number of times, if any, that whatever you typed in is within this tab or sheet. By using the arrows, it will take you to each instance and show you the results on the spreadsheet by highlighting it. This find box will stay open in this index as long as you'd like. Just X out of it if you want it out of the way. So, let's give this a try. Hit the Control F command and let's type in the name Cockrell. C O C K E R I L L. At this point in time, we have 39 items containing the name Cockrell. If you scroll to the right, you can still see the blue highlighted box, which will help you know which link to click. When you open that link, it will open in a new tab so that you can keep your place within our database and not have to start from scratch. With this particular link, it pulls up a small newspaper clipping about Frank Cockrell. Again, you can print or save this image if you'd like. To continue on your research, return to the Google Spreadsheet and click on the down arrow in the Find box. The next instance of the surname Cockrell will be highlighted and is on line 46. 
If you're inundated with results from a common surname, then you can search with a surname, comma, first name. So you'd search Cockrell, comma, Frank. Another important note is that during the time period many of these items are from, they list the wife using Mrs. and then the husband's name. So it would be Mrs. Frank Cockrell. But when researching women, it is best to search as many ways as possible, such as using the Mrs., then her husband's first and last name, or Mrs., then only the husband's last name. And you can also use the surname, comma, wife's first name. Let's take a peek at a few more sections of our historical index before we bring this tutorial to a close. With the microfilm newspaper holdings tab, we have the basic information on the Gretna Breeze and the Gretna Guides microfilm, which is available at the main library. So if you are wanting to find information within two dates and want to know if we have it on hand, then just look through the date from and date to columns or do a quick find search. On the far right hand side of the spreadsheet, it shows special notes which let you know information such as if the microfilm was mutilated or trimmed. If the item that you're looking for has been damaged, then you can contact the Sarpy County Museum or the Nebraska Historical Society, whose links will include both in the video's notes as well as on our library's website's online resources page. The originals came from the Nebraska Historical Society, so they may be able to answer your questions or may even have a better version available for you to see. Now let's click on the U.S. Census and Nebraska Census microfilm holdings tab at the bottom of the screen. We only have a few years, but you're more than welcome to come into the library to view them. You may also access these online through My Heritage Library Edition, which is available through our online resources page. You only need either a library card or your Nebraska driver's license number to access billions of global genealogy resources. All of the other tabs are pretty straightforward. There's one about early Gretna and the Centennial, lots of school documents, information about the library, and so much more to discover about our community. We hope that you found this tutorial enlightening. However, if you have any questions or feedback about our index or this tutorial, then please share it with one of our librarians. We love to help and we appreciate suggestions.